So what is a data warehouse? How can it help your organization? What are some of the business problems that it actually solves? If you've ever been asked to fund a data warehouse project or investigate its benefits to the business, you'll likely find that the conversations get technical in a hurry. So it's no wonder that business users many times feel lost in understanding the benefits of a data warehouse solution. My name is Jared Hillam. I'm the Vice President of Business Intelligence at Conversion Services International, CSI for short. And in this presentation, Demystifying the Data Warehouse, we're going to take a business user's perspective on the benefits of a data warehouse. Additionally, we'll step through the process of designing the data warehouse. We won't be doing a deep dive into the myriad of data warehousing architecture options. So if you're watching this from an IT point of view, this presentation will hopefully give you some ideas on how to better present the benefits of a data warehousing solution to your business. So let's start with some fundamentals of where data comes from. Think about your organization and its data. How does that data get generated? Well, if you trace back, you're going to find that somebody or some machine in your company recorded some type of activity. Whether it's a cashier ringing somebody up at the cash register or a sales rep logging a call to a prospect or maybe an accountant making a payment. These activities are being recorded every day in your company. However, something needs to be on the receiving end to keep track of these activities. This is the role that applications play. So whether it's a custom develop application by your company or a purchased application, the users will need something to interact with. Now, every application needs to have a place to put its users activity or the data. So what you'll likely find is that each application in your company has its own databases. One thing that's important to know about an application database is that its design is optimized for receiving a single record of data at a time. So you can almost think of it like a sponge. Now this ultimately becomes important when we talk about getting information out of the database. So let's talk about that scenario. Getting data out of the application database and turning it into information is something we call business intelligence. Now, in the early years of business intelligence, it was common for organizations to point their business intelligence tools directly at the application databases. But when the reports would request the data from the application database, the processing of the data would run painfully slow. It wasn't that the business intelligence tool was poor, it's just that the application database, which is designed to store single records at a time, was being asked to extract hundreds of thousands, if not millions of records at once. So consequently, reports would take a very long time to run. And the business intelligence tool would often take the blame. So this is the first problem we encounter in many organizations, slow reports and dashboards. Okay, so let's make some room here now that we understand the nature of data. And now we're gonna talk about our second problem. We're going to focus on the decision makers in your company this time. This is commonly one of the most demanding groups in an organization because the impact of an incorrect decision can be very expensive. One of the reasons it's so difficult to deliver information to a decision maker is that they don't see the organization from the myopic view of an application. They look at their reports from a mission level view in order to measure their progress in meeting their mission statement. Let's look at a fictitious example. Let's say an executive asks, how many widgets should we make next month? Well, what if we only looked at the sales forecast to answer that question and determined that we needed to produce 10,000 widgets? Well, this myopic view could cost the organization a lot of money because if we expand our investigation to include accounting, we may find that we already have 10,000 widgets in inventory. Let's try another one. Let's say the question is, who are our most valued customers? This question gets asked a lot. Customers sometimes make very expensive requests, which may or may not make business sense. Well, if we only look at the accounting side, we may determine that customer is frequently late in their payments. But investigating the sales side may indicate a huge opportunity on the horizon. All these aspects play into weighing the right decision, and there are a myriad of questions that decision makers ask every day. So that's our second challenge providing a mission level view of the organization. Let's move on to our third problem. 
You know, I'd love to write a book around this problem. And I think I'd title it, IT is from Mars, business users are from Venus. In so many organizations, IT and business have a frustrating relationship. And business intelligence is frequently the poster child of this relationship. So let's go through a common scenario. Now, because acquiring data from the databases requires a sound technical knowledge and an understanding of where the data is located, IT typically sits between the business and its data. And the request for information typically goes like this. First, the user submits a request for a report. The IT person takes the requirements and produces the report. Then the business user pushes the report back to the IT person because it doesn't meet his or her needs. And so it goes with other business users until a lengthy list of report requests are logged and IT just gets buried in work. Then frustration sets in because IT begins to think that the business users don't know what they want and business users think that IT doesn't know what it's doing. If this sounds familiar, then realize that you're not alone. Now let me make it clear that IT doesn't want to be in the position of hand building each report. So that covers our third problem, inefficient information access. For our fourth problem, let's keep with our story that we have a siloed organization when it comes to information access. Well, when executive management meets and brings the reports generated by each of the respective departments, rather than discussing the right thing to do, they end up arguing about which report is right. So that covers our fourth problem, too many versions of the truth. So in this presentation, we've covered four common problems that a data warehouse solution seeks to address. Slow reports and dashboards, lack of mission level information, expensive and inefficient information access, and multiple versions of the truth. Now in our following presentation, we'll outline the steps to solving these problems with a data warehousing solution. To see this presentation, please click on the link.